Hi there guys, I'm Pixel Bitch. welcome to the download. On this week's episode of the download, I take a look at some of the best games of 2017 and start looking forward to what we can expect in 2018. 2017 has been an absolutely immense year for gaming. There's been so many fantastic releases across all platforms, it would be hard for me to name them all. So, without further ado, drum roll please! <laughs> they don't give me a budget for these things. The Pixel Bitch Awards! These awards are worth absolutely nothing, you won't get any kind of trophy, but here are some of my favourite games throughout 2017. You guys couldn't have like even got me some like party poppers or no? The winner of the False Sense of Security Award, Cuphead. Its stupidly cute graphics make you think it's going to be an easy little jaunt, but it's anything but. Well done Cuphead for making me second guess everything I know about side-scrolling cartoon games. The Thank God It Was Actually Good Award, Assassin's Creed Origins. After taking a break to regroup, the Assassin's Creed series really needed to come back strong, and come back strong they did. It's a stunning game with loads to offer and a very welcome return to form. The Spray and Pray Award, Wolfenstein 2. Sometimes after a hard day at work, you don't want to have to think about things. You just want to shoot some Nazis in the face. Thanks for that outlook, Wolfenstein. You did not disappoint. The Games to Make You Think Award, Hellblade. Sinua's Sacrifice. Beautiful graphics, stunning sound production and a moving story, this game has been praised for its terrifyingly accurate portrayal of living with a mental health disorder. It's a short game, but it's so worth it. The Seppuku Award, Mass Effect Andromeda. For me, if there was ever a game to be told to rip out its own guts, it's going to be this one. As a huge fan of the Mass Effect series, I had nothing but high hopes for this game. A boring cast of characters, dull, unengaging story and janky controls made playing this game like gargling with tar. Fall on your own sword, Andromeda, it's the only honourable thing to do. So while 2017 has been a brilliant year, there are so many games that are coming out in 2018 that we just can't wait for. It's again hard to name them all, but here are my three top picks. Red Dead Redemption 2 while we know very little about Red Dead Redemption 2, we know that it will be yet another rockstar masterpiece with a massive open world to explore, great characters to meet and of course a great multiplayer experience that will merge the world with an online aspect for you to loot and shoot everything you want. Red Dead Redemption 2 is the third entry in the series and will push the game's best features to a new level thanks to the ability to develop the game on new hardware, seeing as this is the first Red Dead on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Far Cry 5 Far Cry 5 is set in the fictional Hope County, Montana, where a preacher named Joseph Seed is taken it upon himself to lead the town away from the sins of the world by establishing a congregation called Eden's Gate. The idea of this group is to lead people to salvation by forcing them to submit themselves to the will of God. Of course, every far cry is led by a maniac, and Joseph is number five's crazy person. With weapons and force, he takes over the town, and you and a group of non-believers need to take it back. I can't wait. Anthem. Anthem is said to be a destiny killer, but we'll need to see about that after Destiny 2's great success. This online-only multiplayer game is being developed by BioWare and is set for a 2018 release. Players will take the role of a freelancer, a member of a bold group of people who leave their civilization to explore new worlds filled with danger. The game will be set in an open-world environment where the player can explore and will take control of an exosuit known as a javelin. These suits are fully customizable and will have various weapons and abilities that will help you survive the harsh environments. Let's see if it can stand up to destiny the way it's claiming. Well guys, that's all the time I've got for you here on the download. As always, if you've got any comments or anything you want to add, just let us know in the comments below or you can get me on Twitter at It's Pixel Bitch. I hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas and a very happy new year and I will see you in 2018 for more gaming.